Tonight on 60 Minutes, Weeb Talk. Despite not having created the hashtag or the trend, this 18-year-old changed the way we see anime fans forever. Meet Danny Kuhn, the otaku TikToker who is actually the character played by an 18-year-old TikToker named Daniel Garcia. He started off as Daniel's son in 2022, but when 2023 came around, he evolved and became popular. According to sources, he has his own YouTube channel, two TikTok accounts, and an Instagram page, all of which has a growing fan base. We sent a film crew over to his house in Brooklyn, New York to wonder how he does it. Upon arrival in his bedroom, we saw anime plushies and a Polaroid camera, anime posters from various shows, anime figurines, which are miscellaneous, and a manga collection with three amiibos. I am the man who created Danny Kuhn, and I created the Danny Kuhn character when I took my first step into the anime world, which was December 2022. And he wasn't called Danny Kuhn originally, he was called Daniel san. I decided to change the name because it sounded more Japanese like and it would make a little bit more sense. Not only does that give you a full explanation of the background, but it also gives you an explanation on why I carried this folder with me. This folder right here is where all my anime drawings are. And this was two months before I created the Danny Kuhn persona. I have here everything from Junko Enoshima, which was my first, to Sayaka Maisono, to Nami from One Piece, I've never even seen that show, Uraraka, and other miscellaneous characters for the years to come, from 2022 to today. It all started off with Danganronpa, and then I worked my way up from there, mostly to the popular animes that everybody talk about. From... My Hero Academia, Naruto, anything you can think of that's popular and mainstream, you've named it, I've drawn characters here. Some kids at school have even requested me for drawings, and I gave in as a result. Hey guys, Danny Kuhn here. In Daniel has even posted videos of his Danny Kuhn persona now, from his TikTok to his YouTube channel, leaving us with only one question and one question alone. Why does he wear cat ears? I get questions about the cat ears every day. There are three reasons why I give Danny Kuhn cat ears, specifically this, this kind. Because, one, first reason is my cat passed away in April 2023 when we returned from a spring break trip to Florida. And so yeah, I wanted to wear these as tribute and maybe even put them in videos to see what people think. Uh, number two, I love cats. I'm a cat person. I like to think of cats not related to, but a typical part of Japanese and otaku subculture, just like anime is. And finally, number three, and this is the most important. In high school, I was friends with a person who was a diehard anime fan and wore cat ears to school every day. And one day I thought to myself... Should this become a part of the new, uh, the, the weeaboo thing? Because that's what they call us. They call us weeaboos because we're diehard anime fans. And I figured if this guy is one and he's wearing cat ears, that makes him a unique person. I was questioning it at first because at the time it didn't make such sense to me. But now that I look back on it, maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. After all, what we wear shouldn't define somebody as a person.